Website builders offer a quick, easy and hassle free website building experience for those looking to create their own website. Now two popular website builders are Wix and WordPress. Both these platforms have their pros and cons when it comes to building a small business website. And this is what I'm going to break down and share with you today. Hey team, Stuart here, welcome back, I hope you're well. Now today I'm going to break down and compare Wix versus WordPress and help you choose which website builder is best for your small business requirements. Okay, now before we dive into this comparative guide, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and break down and compare Wix versus WordPress so you can decide on the best option for you. <music> First, we're going to look at the website building experience that both Wix and WordPress provide. Now, when choosing the right website builder for you, you want to make sure that you're comfortable with the website building experience that the website builder offers. Both Wix and WordPress offer a visual drag and drop builder, meaning you don't need to play around with any code. These website builders are built for complete beginners. Now, if we take a look at wordpress.com, you can see that each website page is broken down into blocks. These blocks act as specific elements or features on your website pages. For example, you can simply click on the block you want to use and then drag that block over onto your website page. Then you can customize that block with the formatting options available. On the other hand, Wix provides a more sleek and easier to use visual building experience called the ADI, Artificial Design Intelligence. Now with this builder, you can simply click on the section or element that you want to edit and that will generate the content over on the left hand side and you can simply change that content. Also, if you want to change the overall design of each section, you can select design next to edit and choose Choose the layout that you like the look of. Also with Wix you can switch from the ADI to the Wix editor. This allows you to have more control over the design of your website pages. This is ideal for those with a little more experience and want more extensive functions out of the website builder. Okay, so we believe that Wix takes the lead on this one as they offer a more innovative and clean visual building experience, especially for beginners with their innovative ADI and editor. Next, we want to discuss the website layouts that both Wix and WordPress provide. Now, as a complete beginner, you typically don't want to build a website from scratch, and that's where pre-made templates come in. These help you create your website by providing a pre-made structure and layout to your website. And all you need to do is add and change the content. Now, WordPress.com provides over 100 free themes and close to 100 paid themes that you can choose and build your website from. On the other hand, Wix offers over 800 pre-made website templates that you can choose from. So again, Wix takes the lead on this one by offering significantly more templates for you to choose from. Next, we want to discuss additional features that Wix and WordPress provide. First, WordPress.com allows you to add additional features to your website in the form of plugins. However, you will need to have upgraded to the paid business plan to access these additional features. Some of these popular plugins allow you to add extra security, improve your website's visibility on search engines, add live chat, add an Instagram feed, and more. You have access to over 50,000 WordPress plugins that all have different features. On the other hand, Wix allows you to integrate apps onto your Wix site to add additional features. And unlike WordPress.com, many of the apps are free. However, if you do want access to more premium apps and features, you will need to upgrade to a paid plan. Again, due to the ability to integrate additional features for free, Wix does stand out. However, WordPress offers a lot more features in the form of plugins with their affordable business plan. So in our opinion, both Wix and WordPress.com come out equal on this point. 
Okay, now it's time to compare the pricing between Wix and WordPress. Now both website builders offer a free plan. However, on both free plans, you will notice Wix branding and WordPress branding, which ultimately takes away from the professionalism of your website. Now on the free WordPress website, it is less prominent as it's down in the footer compared with Wix, which has a fixed top bar that is incredibly annoying and unprofessional. Now prices for WordPress.com start from $5 to $61 per month in New Zealand dollars. This will vary slightly depending on the country that you're in. And one of the main features for small businesses is having a professional domain name, which comes with the personal plan and then to access all the extensive features we talked about earlier you will need to upgrade to the business plan which is still relatively affordable and if we compare wordpress with wix prices start from four dollars fifty us dollars per month through to 26 dollars per month for small businesses then you also have e-commerce plans if you're planning to sell products online now prices are slightly more expensive compared to wordpress.com for what you get and the most basic wix plan still displays wix ads so you would ideally want to get started with the combo plan at eight dollars fifty per month also both website builders offer relatively similar customer support if you come across any issues with your website now in regards to pricing wordpress takes the lead for best value for money okay so to sum up our results wordpress came out on top for price and value as well as resulting in a draw for additional features then we have wix which came out on top for both the website building experience and the pre-made templates that wix offers and like we mentioned a draw for additional features so from my perspective i would recommend wordpress.com if you're looking to create a free or very basic small business website However, if you're looking to create a more premium professional and a more complex website and you're wanting more design freedom as well as the ease of use, then Wix is for you. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Wix vs WordPress comparative guide for small business. Let me know in the comments down below which website builder you decided to go for. Now with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and that way I'll see you next time. Take care guys.